Hi Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your October 2022 New Moon reading for you, the October 25th reading. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds, letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. Let's see the energy we need to be mindful of during this time, during this new moon and solar eclipse both in Scorpio. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. There's an energy vibration to things. And because this time is so intense and it is in our sign of Scorpio, we're going to feel it quite, quite powerfully. So the energy vibration that things are taking that things are giving off are taking on a life of their own. So be very aware of this, especially when it comes to our day to day dealings. When it comes to purchases, we might find that we impulse buy a lot during this time. We might find that we feel as if we're not living up to a potential and that we should make investments in bigger things or trust people whose interests aren't really aligned with ours. So be very aware of this, very mindful of this, because the intensity, like the pulse of things is is very powerful here. The Queen of Pentacles is also Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We might find that these signs that are so grounded are a little bit harder to get along with. And that people who are very grounded, very much set in their ways, do not have the fluidity that we need during this time. It doesn't matter if they're an earth sign energy or not. We want people and we need people to be able to be flowing. Okay, I just see it as waves and wind. We need that that flowing, that elasticity of mind and connection during this time. Very much so. It's, it's going to be very powerful for us. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Okay. Yeah, okay. So it's a very beautiful time for us. Okay, I'm just going to move things so you can see a bit better. We're crowned by strength. We then have the six of, of wands. We have the 10 of pentacles. We have the ace of cups. We have the ace of, of wands and we have the star card. So, which is also Aquarius energy. So it's almost like we are crowned and we are rooted here. So we are crowned with Leo energy. Okay, strength energy. Time frame spirit is saying that these are important. Time frame for Leo is July 23rd to August 22nd. We 
can be really finding that we've found our strength, we found our determina- determination, we found what we needed during that time, even if it was like a good kick in the tush to get us moving in a direction that we were hesitant to go in before. We're rooted in the star, which is Aquarius energy, January 20th to February 18th. I see this root not as something that has already happened, though for some of us it may be, but I see this more as the future, as the direction that we're heading in, and the place that we need to be for us. There is a dream that is being realized, there is an insight that is being seen, and there is a call that is being answered. Now, we are seeing the strength within ourselves. We've also come to a conclusion when it comes to our prosperity, when it comes to our abundance, especially here within the waking world. There is a sense that we've ended one cycle. We are beginning the next. But we also have great fruits of our labors coming forward. With the Ace of Cups, this is God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, handing us a gift just for us. We're represented by the cups in the in the minor arcana, by the death card in the major arcana. And this solar eclipse, this is all about the heart, a heart-centered transformation. And we're going to find that our heart guides us in a direction we hadn't seen before. And what's interesting is that the Ace of, of Cups has her eyes closed, but she is looking towards the Page of of Wands. And the Page of Wands is looking towards her. So the heart is looking towards our passions, looking towards what we want, looking towards what we need. Again, a gift from divinity, from above. However we say it, however we see it, there is a sense that there is new passion coming into our lives. There is a sense that there is new opportunity guiding us forward and leading us in a direction that we hadn't anticipated. This is very positive energy around us. We are crowned with strength. Now again, strength can signify Leo energy. If we have that in our charts, it's very much going to step to the forefront. But strength is also for us this time, this time of the new moon in Scorpio, this time when Venus and the sun are right next to each other, this time when, you know, we're ruled by Pluto and transformation is calling to us. We see and feel a change on the horizon that is very personal and it is very emotional. And we feel that emotional energy here profoundly. The solar eclipse in Scorpio begins the eclipse season. And so what we're going to find for ourselves is that our passion, our intention, our desire comes forward. We're going to find that we are transforming more and more to what we want. But Scorpio, we are also being being more assertive. We are connecting in a way that people find disconcerting at times. Because Scorpio, we are not always in the present. And I know that that might sound a bit funny. But a Scorpio is a person who walks between the waking world and the, and the, and the spiritual world. So we can bring that and weave that into everything that we do and everything that we are. And it takes great strength to see the power in that, to see the purpose in that, and to see ourselves moving forward in a direction that others might find maybe difficult, odd. There's a level of intuitive connection, okay, that we have that isn't going to be easily explained or understood. But it is our greatest strength. And it is our greatest power that moves us in the direction that we need to be. We're going to find that this moon, though very introspective, is going to be, because all new moons are, is going to be a moon that shows us our strength, that shows us what we desire, that shows us what we need. There is an energy here that is telling us quite succinctly to hold your head up high and to start celebrating your gifts. Because again, they might not be like everybody else's, but they are worth celebrating. They are, in their own way, extraordinary. And this is a time for us when we're embracing that extraordinary, when we're saying, this is where I need to be. This is what I want for myself. This is what I desire. And I'm opening up that door with honesty, with integrity, with determination, with focus. We're learning to take our skills. And the skills, Spirit is saying, the skills that we have written off, the things that we think, oh, well, everybody can do this. Everybody can't. And we are starting to celebrate us. And that's very much going to change things for us. Because as we are seeing ourselves 
as worthy, as prominent, as powerful. It moves us in a direction that takes us by surprise. And it brings us to a place where we see that we've come full cycle. We see that we are connecting more to like-minded people. We are connecting more to prosperity and success. There is a change in our attitude. There is a change in our mindset. There is a sense that we are embracing wealth or what we we admire as much as money. So there is a real sense of, of power and, and bounty, determination, insight, ideas coming forward. This can be also inheritance, okay? During this moon, we can be looking at inheritance, but again, it's not saying that it has to be financial inheritance. It can be an inheritance of certain personality traits or certain determination or stick to And we're really starting to value that. We're starting to see ourselves part of a collective where before we felt very isolated. And that's not the case anymore. There is a sense of, of taking on a leadership role, okay, during this time. And even if that leadership role is simply saying to ourselves, I'm leading my life, I'm now taking the reins, and I know what I want. We're going to see that if we listen to our heart, our heart illuminates us in a way that has our cup runneth over, has us embra embracing blessings, has us embracing prosperity, has us embracing what we love and what we want in ways that we didn't think we could. We didn't think that this was possible. And now we're starting to see that, yeah, I can do this. Yes, I can move forward this way. This can also make us astoundingly emotional. So we might find that this is a very intense period for us. We might find that we're very emotional. We're very emotionally connected even before this new moon on the 25th. We're going to find that our emotions really do guide us and that we feel things a lot more than we usually feel things. And this is going to last well after the 25th of October, where our instincts are just heightened, where our intuition is heightened. Expect this till the full moon, okay? Because, yeah, because there's just a sense of, okay, I see it, I feel it, I understand it, I'm connecting with it, I, I know what I need, I know who I am, I know what I want. And it's not so much that knowing where it's all logically laid out. It's a knowing of emotions. It's a knowing of, of, of instinct. And we're really connecting with this more and more. And it brings us to the page of, of want. And there's fire here. There's potential here. There's passion here that's opening up the door. There is a real sense of this is where I need to be. And this is what I want. Wands are creativity. Wands are a passion. They're the reason we get out of bed in the morning. And we're going to find that our passion is being rekindled, that our flair for life and our flair for, for beauty and, and, and greatness, there's a greatness to us that we are embracing during this time that we're saying, yeah, I can move forward this way. Yes, I can have this. Yes, I know what it is that I want. I know what it is that I need. And we're kind of taking this, this power and we're holding up to it. There's also a gift of sacred feminine energy, sacred masculine energy moving us forward. There is a sense of, I need to nurture both of these sides of me. Now the star has our greatest wish coming forward. Now it's not the wish that we cross our fingers for. It is what our soul deeply longs for. It is what we tell very few people. It's the way that we need to move forward for us and the passion that we have for us. Now, I also see, now I live in New England and it gets very cold in February. I'm seeing that cold being important. And I don't know why I'm seeing snow covered, you know, pine trees. And that's going to be something here, just that imagery spirit is giving. So I don't know if somebody's looking at a picture or if the pine trees have snow on them or you are and you're looking at it and spirit is just showing that it's coming up powerfully. Okay. It's coming up here. Also know that you're putting down roots. Okay. You're putting down roots to your dreams. It starts with this new moon. It starts with this solar eclipse. It starts with this change that is heart centered and it moves you in the direction that you didn't think you were brave enough to go into. You didn't think you were brave enough to open that door, 
but you are. And that's going to be a game changer for you. Okay. There's also somebody here. You have somebody in your life. They're younger. All right. And, or they have just a very young spirit to them. And they're doubting that they can move forward in, in their dreams. They're doubting that they can go after what they want. You're going to see a change again, snow on the, the pine trees. I know if you live in a, a colder climate, you might be thinking, what is that? You might see a picture of it. You know, it might be a snow globe that you get, but it's something here where that's going to be your sign. It's like, you're on the right path. You're on the right path. So there's a lot of doubt here around our passion and our desires. You see that sign, you know that you're on the right path and that's going to be very important. Okay. So let's see what the moon has to say for herself. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides, angels and spirit guides. Okay. So what I love is that you're crowned with, you're very close to achieving your goals. And we have that with our strength. So we're being told here by the moon that yes, we need our strength. We need our determination to be able to achieve what we want because we're very close. But I do see this also as a time where yes, we can really embrace what we want, but we're also so close to achieving that we can start to get discouraged and be like, you know what? It's never going to happen. I'm never going to get there. It's never going to work out. And we're just kind of going to want to walk away. So just know this, that this energy is like, no, you need the strength to move you forward the way that you want to be moved, the way that you want to go. You're very close to achieving your goals. Don't give up on yourself in the final hour. Discernment. We need to be very aware of the energy that we're letting in. When we're celebrating ourselves, when we're holding true to what it is that we want, we have to be discerning of what we're listening to, of who we're talking to, of how we're being inspired by our life and what we need and what we want and what we're looking forward towards. And what we're, it's looking forward towards what we desire. It's not like, oh, I'm looking forward to this surprise that's coming. It's like, no, how am I looking forward and how am I seeing my life and how is my self-talk? That's going to be very, very, very important. This moon has us turning inward more than a lot of other people. Okay, Scorpio? And as it has us looking inward more, it has us seeing what we want and what we desire. If we look inward at ourselves with honesty, and it's a little bit of brutality. It's a little bit of a sense of, you know, I'm stripping this bear. I'm seeing what I need to see about me. What's holding me back? What do I need? What do I want? Why can't I celebrate myself if we're having trouble in that area? And how am I seeing myself as a success? It moves us to the masculine. We are going to have to embrace the masculine as we complete a cycle. We might have an inheritance. Okay, again, this could be physical or this could be, you know, just part of our emotional makeup that we inherited from a male or from somebody who's just astoundingly strong. Like they would come up as the male in, in the tarot because that's their personality. Like I'm going to get things done. I'm moving forward. No nonsense type of personality. There is the strong masculine energy that is moving us forward towards prosperity, towards success, towards what we desire. Again, we're connecting with a community. We will find that there is a man that helps us to move forward. And this moon is saying, don't like poo poo what they say, because they are helping you, they are guiding you, but in their way, and they have a little bit of a gruffness around them. So just be aware of that. There is a void that is being filled during this moon, a sense of what I love and what I desire. There is also a sense of quiet during the darkness of the moon. If you light a candle, if you set your intention, if you, you know, white, write quietly, by candlelight or just, you know, dimming the lights, there is going to be a beauty and a comprehension that comes in the quiet. It brings us to the unexpected. It brings us to this place of being inspired, of having our passion move us forward, of, you know, seeing what we want and what we desire and what we need. And it opens up our ourselves. It opens us up in a way that we hadn't intended. We thought, oh no, that's done. Or, oh no, that couldn't be. And now spirit's like, oh no, oh no. This is what you needed to see. This is where you need to be for you. And 
it's it's completely unexpected. It's a wave of inspiration. You know, you have a notebook around you, have something that you can scribble in, or just let your mind flow because you're going to find that you are astoundingly inspired and very unexpectedly inspired during this time. You're attracting to you what you deeply desire, okay? But you're also attracting to you the energy that you put out. So be very, very mindful of this, that if you put out negativity, you'll get it, but like tenfold. If you put out positivity, you'll get it tenfold. There is a serenity to what you wish for and to what you're seeking, okay? That comes again in the quiet, in the void, in a single light being lit, but a single thing being focused on, right? So this can be a time where we're wanting to focus on everything. We're wanting to take advantage of everything. Spirit is saying, move slowly, move gently, one thing at a time. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is the same strength that grounds us. Strength isn't brute force strength. It isn't saying I'm getting stronger and stronger and stronger, you know, bigger muscles, more than I'm accumulating, more than I want. Strength here is a quiet strength. It is a strength of compassion. It is a strength of respect. It is a strength of love. And that's going to be very important. But the energy of strength of accumulating more, being more, you know, kind of authoritative and and bossy and, you know, strutty, like, you know, I'm going to strut around and get what it is that I want because I demand it. That's not going to work for us. We're actually going to be very repelled by that energy. So just just be aware of that. Your hard work is paying off. Now, it's funny because it says your hard work pays off your subconscious moon energy is your hard work pays off action. It is time to take action. It is time to move forward. It's time to go after what we want, what we need, where it is that we want to be. Our hard work is paying off, even though we might feel like, you know, why am I doing this? Why do I work so hard? Why do I push so hard? And I'm not getting anywhere. That's not the case. It might feel like that right now, but that's not the long run. So just be very much aware of that. Our subconscious tarot energy is the moon. This moon we are intricately linked with. We're linked with the sun. We're linked with the moon. We're linked with all of this insight. And the moon, the moon tarot card represents Pisces. So we're going to find that that water energy, again, that's why we need that flow and that, and that wave of things is going to be so important to us. Okay, we have to be mindful because I'm just hearing, you know, you can flame the fires a lot. Be mindful of your temper. Be mindful of other people's tempers because we can kind of like really flame those fires. Okay, so just be aware of that. And I know water is, is squelching to the fire, but just be aware because I do see the air coming through and you have this flexibility of mind and words during this time that is going to be quite beautiful. There is the sense with the with the moon energy. This moon is very powerful. This new moon is very centering for us, for us. You know, it's it centers us within ourselves. We need to be ready for that because it can take us off guard. It can kind of knock us off track because we see ourselves so clearly. We see our mistakes and we see our blessings and we can really rip ourselves apart for either, you know? So just be very, very aware of this. This moon hits us hard. This solar eclipse hits us hard. It's intense. It's powerful. And it's all centered around Scorpio. It's all centered around us. It changes our hearts. It moves us forward in what we desire in ways that we hadn't expected. It is profoundly powerful and it is profoundly beautiful. All right. All right, Scorpio. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this moon and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you.
May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Scorpio, and may you have a blessed moon.